How's it going tonight, guys? Jonathan Stringer bringing you, once again, Wednesday Wisdom, because it is that time of week again, guys. It's crazy how fast time flies. I feel like I was just doing you know, an episode of Wednesday Wisdom, like just yesterday, but it's been a whole week. I'm really excited about this one, as you guys can tell. It's kind of a, kind of, kind of goes against the, kind of against the grain. It goes against what most people say. From the title, it says slow and steady doesn't win the race. All right, and you might be sitting there thinking like, well, that's kind of strange. I've never heard that one, Jonathan. What do you mean slow and steady doesn't win the race? Okay, and to back up, I really want to go into the story. So everybody, I'm sure, has probably heard the story of the tortoise and the hare. All right, just to be really fast about it, I mean, you get a rabbit, you get a turtle, and they're racing. And essentially what happens is the rabbit, as soon as the gun is fired and, and go is shouted, the rabbit takes off. He starts running, booking it down you know, the racetrack, going and going. And all of a sudden, you know, he, he gets to the point where he's like, you know, I'm super far ahead of that turtle. I'm so far ahead, I don't even need to worry. In fact, I think I'm gonna stop and take a little nap. I think I'm gonna stop and and just start you know playing around there's so many different variations of it but he he just decides you know what? i think i'm gonna stop and not put as much focus anymore and the turtle you, i mean you zoom back to the turtle turtle has barely gotten off the starting line he's just going and going one step in front of another you know very methodically just one foot in front of the other over and over and you're thinking, well, there's no way the turtle's gonna win. All the animals in the forest that are watching this race, they're like, there's no way the turtle's gonna win. You know, all their bets are on the rabbit. Well, it turns out the rabbit lollygags and plays around and ends up falling asleep. And in his sleep, the turtle passes him. The turtle passes him, just keeps going and going. And by the time the rabbit wakes up, the turtle's right at the finish line. The rabbit tries as, he, as hard as he can. He's running and running, and he almost makes it there, but the turtle still beats him. And oftentimes, growing up, we were always taught, slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady you know, you know, accomplishes your goals. Slow and steady accomplishes this and that and, and does all these great things. And I wanna put a stop to that because I think it's a lie that the only way to accomplish your goal is slow and steady. The key in there, guys, the key in there is that it's not dependent upon your speed. No, nobody said the turtle won because he was slow. Okay, no, nobody looks at that story and says the rabbit lost because he was fast. The reason the turtle won is because he was steady because he was consistent, because he didn't let up. Regardless of his speed, I, the rabbit could have won and would have won had he have gone fast and steady, had he have been fast and consistently fast. So the lie that I want you guys to, to really you know, push aside, that I want you to get out of your head, is the fact that slow has to be a part of that equation. It's not slow and steady. It's just steady. Forget the speed. Nobody cares about the speed. Okay, the speed is dependent on you and, and your goals. Whatever goal it is that you're trying to reach, whatever you know, end result it is that you're going for, that's where the speed takes into effect. That's whatever you choose. The, the point that you can't miss if you want success, if you want some sort of accomplishment though, is you can't miss the steadiness, the consistency, doing it over and over because you didn't let up. And maybe another story that I heard just recently, actually I heard it just yesterday, I never heard this story in Australia, and I forget, I forgive me, there's a race out in Australia, a really long race. I think ah, I'm gonna get this number wrong, just because I'm now trying to tell it to you. I'm gonna say it's 300 kilometers, okay? This insane race, okay? And, and this is what I heard on the story. There's a gentleman 
who went out there to, to run this race. And the race goes, it's like a span of like three days or five days generally that it takes to finish this race, all right? And he goes out there and he's, he's going to run the race, but he's in overalls and like rubber galoshes, like rain boots, farm boots. I don't know if you guys ever seen those. Okay, that's what he's out there. And the newscast, they think it's a joke at first and they realize he's actually registering to run this race. Like that's insane. He, he is, he's not dressed in athletic clothes. He, he doesn't look built like an athlete. What is he doing? And, you know, they, they go, they interview him, and the guy says, he's like, you know, I grew up on a farm, and we couldn't afford horses. So oftentimes, I would go out there, and I'd just chase the cows to herd them. He's like, sometimes I had to chase for two and three days at a time. And, and the, the news, they're like, okay, whatever. And so the, the race begins. You know, he's over on the line, just like the turtle and the hare. He's on the line, all of a sudden, the gun's fired, they yell, go. And, you know, all the other runners, they take off. They take off, and he's going, but he's got this really weird shuffle. It's this really weird shuffle. It's not a, a, an aerodynamic run. It's not anything that, that helped, you know, the way that most runners were going. He's just a really awkward shuffle. If you can imagine trying to run in, in like, rubber galoshes and rubber boots, like, they're going up to, you guys can't see my legs, okay? But they're going up almost to, like, halfway up to his knees. And it's really not like an, an ideal way to run. But he goes on and the, he ends up winning the race by a day and a half. Not like a few seconds, not a few miles. He finishes the race a day and a half before every other contestant on that track, on that course. And the reason, the reason he did that is because he was consistent. Every other racer there, the way they raced was they ran and they ran and they'd run for uh, for uh, 18 hours and then they'd sleep for six. They'd run for 18 hours and they'd sleep for six. But this guy, what he did was he didn't sleep. He ran 24 hours a day and just didn't take a break. Just like the turtle, he kept going. He was steady. He was consistent. It didn't matter that he didn't run the same way as everybody else. It didn't matter that he was dressed in overalls and had rubber boots. He had everything fighting against him, but he was steady in his course. He was steady in his discipline and in his actions. And because he did that, because he was steady, it didn't matter his speed, he still finished a day and a half before anybody else. He broke the record for that race. And because of the way he did things, it changed the, ra the way that race was ran forever. I, want you guys, I really want you guys to grasp that concept. Go, go sit down and just think about it. Think in your life, think in your goals and whatever you're trying to accomplish and look at yourself, reflect it your, with yourself. Say, what do I need to be? What are my daily consistent actions? I'm not saying you have to go run a race and within you know three days and never sleep. Uh, I'm not saying that you have to go out and put enormous effort constantly. I want you to find a few daily actions, a few daily disciplines that you can put in, day in and day out. And don't let up, be steady with it. If you wanna go faster, add a few a actions, you know? Add the or increase the size of your actions if you want to go faster. But if you just if you're wanting success and you, you just want it, you're not really concerned with how soon you just want it. Go out and find a few key disciplines every day and just do them consistently and steadily. Because I promise you, as you do that, you're gonna be just like the turtle. You're gonna be just like that gentleman in the race. You're gonna finish before everybody else. You're gonna finish before anybody else who may they may run as hard as they can but then they're going to rest and when they're resting that's when you're making up the ground that's when you're passing them that's when you're re increasing the distance between you and them because you're being consistent and you're not letting up guys go out there and be extraordinary take this piece of wednesday wisdom and use it to transform your life transform your business your family transform everything
because you can be extraordinary. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is just the little extra, guys. Just that little extra. Now go out there and make it happen. You guys have an amazing week.